Let's start learning. Hi, everyone. Today, Pedro Penguin is interested in learning about what a bar graph is and how to set one up. Pedro asks, "What is a bar graph?" Well, Pedro, a bar graph is a type of graph that uses bars to represent data. It's a great way to visualize data and compare different categories of data. A bar graph looks like this. In fact, today we'll learn how to create this very bar graph. When you set up a bar graph, Pedro, you need to follow certain steps. First of all, choose your topic. You might want to create a bar graph of the number of students in each grade level at your school, the number of cars sold by each car dealership in your city, or the amount of money spent on household expenses. Pedro says, "Why don't we do the number of students in each grade level at school?" Sure, Pedro. Your next step, Pedro, is to collect your data. This may involve counting, surveying, or researching. For a graph today, we can research. We can ask a teacher or the principal what the number of students for each grade is. Make sure that your data is accurate and complete. Awesome, Pedro. Once you've collected your data, it's helpful to create a table to organize it. The table should have two columns: one column for the categories of data, and one column for the values of data. For example, if you're creating a bar graph of the number of students in each grade level at your school, your table might look like this: grade level, number of students, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. Okay, Pedro. Now comes the exciting stuff. We've got our topic, our data, and a table or chart. Now we can start drawing the graph. Whoa! The next step is to draw the axes of your graph. The x-axis is the horizontal axis at the bottom of your graph, and the y-axis is the vertical axis on the left side of your graph. The x-axis should be labeled with the categories of data from your table. For our graph, that would be the grades in our school: first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade. The y-axis should be labeled with the values of data from your table. So we can set a scale on the y-axis. Let's start at zero and count by tens to the highest number in our data, 100. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Wow, that looks really cool, Pedro. Now it's time to draw the bars of your graph. Start by drawing a bar for each category of data in your table. The height of each bar should represent the value of data for that category. For example, in the bar graph of the number of students in each grade level at a school. The bar for the first grade would be the tallest bar because there are 100 students in the first grade. Remember, numbers that have a five in the ones place fall halfway between each ten. Let's draw each bar: first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. It also helps to choose different colors for each bar if you want to make your graph easier to read. Pedro asks, "Are we done?" Pedro, one more thing, and then we're done. As a last step, we add a title and labels to our graph. The title should identify the data that is being represented in the graph. Let's call the graph "Students in Each Grade." Now, we'll label the x-axis across the bottom. We can call this "Grade Levels." And we'll label the y-axis down the left side, number of students. There we go, Pedro. All finished. Let's review. Let's review what Pedro learned today. A bar graph is a type of graph that uses bars to represent data. To create a bar graph, follow certain steps. Choose a topic. Gather data. Make a table. Draw the graph. Set up the x-axis, set up the y-axis, draw the bars, add a title, add labels. Nice work, everyone.
parents, teachers, and homework helpers, please be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. A like will really help the channel, so please give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here today. I look forward to seeing you again. Take care and remember, it never hurts to be nice.